Okay, so this is a video about what kind of brushes to use with what density of highlighters you have. Some highlighters are more tightly packed in the pan and you really have to rub them to get them out, get the pigment out, and get it on your face. Some, like the Becca ones, are softer, so you need a, a very, very fluffy brush because you can apply way too much without meaning to it. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the Becca one. I'm going to use Champagne Pop, which is really pretty. That is Champagne Pop. It's a gorgeous highlighter. It's very, very shimmery, and you really have to be careful with it. So what I'm going to do with the Becca one is use a fluffy brush. The Real Techniques blush brush is really good for this. Also, a fan brush would be really good for this. Um, you can get like a thinner one. This is kind of fat. <laughs> this is fat and fluffy, but this would still work. It would have the same effect as this one would. So what you would do is just take this and just kind of kind of pat it on there, and then you put it. Kind of rub it in there a little bit, and you probably can't tell, but there's a little, kind of a little bit of highlighter on my phone. There's a little bit of highlighter on the um, on the brush there. And you take it and just dust on your cheeks, pin it to your cheek. So it's the perfect application. If you want a little bit more, you can do a little bit more. That's the perfect glow. It's not too much. It's just perfect. Gives you a lit within glow. Of course, if you if you want more than that, if you want to see a glow from face, then you can use a denser brush, and that'll give you a lot more of an impact. So I'm gonna wipe that off, and I'm gonna wipe my phone off because I got highlighter all over my phone. <laughs> So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do an example and use a denser brush with the Becca. This is the Too Faced, um, probably a brush brush blush brush. I'm not quite sure. I've had it a while, but this is the one I use for the like the denser Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks and stuff because it really picks it up. So if you take this and rub it in there, see how much product you get. And you get quite a bit more of a highlight with that one. Definitely more shimmer to it. So these with the Becca, it's, it just depends on what kind of highlight effect you want. If you want more highlight, you use a denser brush. If you want less highlight, more of a glow, use a fluffier brush. We're going to take the back and set that aside. And we're going to go with the Bobbi Brown. This is very fingerprinty. This is Pink Glow. This is one of my favorite highlighters. It's so pretty. But this is uh, not as loosely packed as the Becca, but not as tightly packed as the Makeup Revolution one. I'll show you in a minute. But this is a beautiful, this is a very... I want to say metallic highlighter. It's very metallic. It's not just a glow, it's metallic. So if you apply too much of this, you're going to look like you're going to a rave or something. <laughs> so with this highlighter, I would probably use, you can either go with a, probably like a denser brush, like um, a blush brush, a smaller blush brush. You can use that. Or you can use this one. You got a little bit of product on there. Let's see if I can um if I can really get it to get on there. There we go. 
to try to do this with one hand is um, a challenge. <laughs> I'm going to take that and just put it, apply it to your cheek. You see, I kind of have to like, you don't, you don't do that with the back of one. You do that with the back of one, you're going to have so much highlighter. But this one, you really have to dip it in there, so, especially if you're one-handed like this. But this is a very metallic highlighter, and that's how much sheen you get. <laughs> That's how much. That's what happens when you put a metallic highlighter, like Estee Lauder's Heat Wave or this one, with a with a denser brush. That's the effect you get. That's my first time using that brush. Yay! <laughs> and I'm going to wipe that off. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you use a fluffy brush with this highlighter. Really dip it in there. It really doesn't pick it up much. You get a glow, get a subtle glow. So, like I said, it's really a really the effect you're going for. A fluffy brush works with this highlighter too. If you want a more subtle glow, which is actually really pretty, I'm really liking that. But there's more glitter coming out an actual metallic sheen like what I previously showed you so but this highlighter in particular does have glitter in it so you have to kind of keep that in mind too if you have a highlighter that has glitter in it and use a fluffy brush with it you're probably going to pick up more glitter than you will highlighter so that's something to keep in mind with that okay now we have the Makeup Revolution highlighters, which I love. This is Peach Light's my favorite. It's so pretty, so gorgeous. You guys, I woke up late the other day and slapped this highlighter on, and it was, it was awesome. It's great. It's really pretty, but it's so densely packed. You really have to rub the pan to get some pigment. So in that case. You would go in with this brush. And this is not, um, if I can do this with both hands, that would be great. Kind of rub it in there. And then you get some pigment on, pigment on the brush. And you get this beautiful, this beautiful glow. But definitely with these highlighters, the uh, Makeup Revolution highlighters and the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo highlighters, you definitely have to use a denser brush like that, or maybe even a stippling brush. You can try that like a stocker stippling brush. You can put that in there, swipe it on your cheeks. Um, I don't like really doing that because it affects my foundation, so I don't like using too too hard of a brush on my skin at the foundation because it can rub it off. So, But this highlighter also, um, you can take your finger and just like wipe it on if you want more of a highlight. And there you go. Just like rub it out. This is what I do with the ColourPop highlighters. I, I don't use a brush with those. I do not have a brush that actually works with the ColourPop highlighters. So I use my fingers. Um, what I do with the ColourPop highlighters, and I can't demonstrate because I don't have a camera, but what I do with the ColourPop highlighters is I just take my finger and I rub it in the highlighter and I pat it on my cheeks and then I take a beauty blender and then pat that over the outside edges of it to get it to blend out. That way you, you don't rub it over the whole part of the highlighter on your cheek because then you might blend out too much and you can't see it. So I just blend out the edges of it so that your highlighter shows up and it's gorgeous, your edges are blended and it's seamless with the rest of your face. I hope this video is very helpful to anyone that watches it. Um, 
I'm in love with highlighters. They are one of my favorite makeup products ever. They're like diamonds for your skin. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, as far as highlighters go, they have different, um, they're milled differently. They're packed differently. The backers are very, like I said before, they're very easy to pick up. So it really depends on what kind of brush you use as to what effect you actually have on your skin when you apply the highlighter. I hope you're having a good weekend, and I will see you later.